be a part of. Fox, oh, you know, the other thing that we were talking about is actually the security presence. You know, we talked about outside the Pepsi Center and around downtown Denver, and it looked really like a police state. Well, the security here tonight, as you can imagine, is tremendous, both inside the stadium and, out. and outside the stadium. And Fox 31, Sari Pador is outside in Vesco Field. And Sari, what have you found? Boy, it really is very, very impressive. There are a lot of those officers who were at Pepsi Center yesterday moved over here to Invesco Field today. You can see some of those guys perched on top of the uh, on the stadium there next to Bucko the Bronco and uh, we were talking to some of those officers who came over from Pepsi Center they say you know they hadn't been trained that some of them had never been inside of Invesco field but they say everything seems to be running smoothly from listening to the beat to pounding the beat in and around Invesco field there are officers everywhere from the sky down to mile high. It's good to know that we're safe. To give you an idea of how many officers on a usual game day, there are 75 officers inside the stadium and 75 officers directing traffic outside. Turn it over, sir. Today, there are between 800 and 1,000. I guess that's what we need to keep us safe here because it's a really high profile event. Everyone coming into the stadium goes through metal detectors. Every bag is searched. Smooth, very smooth. Went through pretty easy. A chicken burrito. A chicken burrito. Even the food was scanned twice before being set up. Here you go. Thank you. Now you can imagine for every uniformed officer that you see perched on top of the stadium and also way up high on that catwalk where the lights are with uh, guns up there, for every one of those you can uh, pretty well bet that there are people in riot gear, officers in riot gear on the ready, not only around the stadium, but also in the bowels of the stadium. No problems again. Absolutely no problems. According to one of the commanders that I spoke to just a little while ago, he said the only thing that happened was a dehydration case. Someone came inside the stadium and wasn't feeling so well, so they took them away in the ambulance. But aside from that, really no problems, which is really amazing, guys. Uh, Sari, yeah. I was going to say, if that's the worst thing that happens today, the city, all of us are way ahead of the game. And you got it. And personally, I'm glad to see the police officers all over the place. It's yes, everybody is saying that. In fact, uh, we talked to Federico Pena. He said it's safe and secure. Every single person that came through that metal detector said, you know, it's going smoothly. All right. Sorry, Fedor, outside the Invesco Field at Mile High. Something tells me it'll be easier to get in here Sunday afternoon when CU plays CSU. It'll yeah. be 75,000, but it'll be a little easier I, I to get in. I don't think they're going to be searching every car no, and with 